Go beyond you now. Yemen, come right now, I don't wanna. Maru, wanna Yemen. That just means welcome everybody to the strong land of the community. Go well and be safe here. And I have my barai. Go with go. I'm Yama, everyone. Hank Flett. I'm part of the Aboriginal Ranger Program in the Tamworth region or Northwest region, I guess you could say. I'm proud Gomorrah man from Walgut. I'm a conservation field support officer. That's the role they've given us um, within the Ranger Program. What we do is we're trying to conserve country and make country better and fix country and heal it. And with this training block we're currently doing now, we're talking about doing cultural burning. Um, and through these burns, we hope to heal country and rejuvenate country. And um, what we've learned so far is how to do our uh, burn plans and stuff so we can protect country, uh, protect neighbours' properties, protect other people, because this burn doesn't just affect us as Gilmore people, it affects everybody. Um, and what I hope to get from this burn is to see country good. I hope to get community involved. I hope to see that community can come and appreciate the knowledge that we've learnt and that we can pass down that knowledge to them. Um, being someone so young and in this space teaching a lot of older followers who lost that knowledge can be a bit intimidating, but I hope that they can sit and listen and learn um, as we all have uh, learned about this practice. Uh, we talk about cultural burns. Um, I'm not talking about it as a as a management tool. I'm talking about it as a cultural practice first and foremost. To me, that's cultural practice. Uh, when I go out and burn country, I'm thinking about my old people. I'm burning country for them because they couldn't. Yeah, Yama. My name's Will Robinson, proud Gumroy man from Kuna Barabran. Um, direct descendant of Mary Jane Kane, who's our traditional owner. Um, it's great to be part of, I'm actually supervisor of the um, Aboriginal Ranger Program in Kuna Barabran. Part of the Ranger Program, uh, we are participating in the CERT 3 conservation and ecosystems and I see that as the relevance of that is so important to our people to be on country working and a part of that is cultural burning which is a very was always a very important part of our culture and the continuity is still there today and has kept going for thousands of years. Um, to have that experience and to learn what our old people knew and to pass that knowledge on is so important to our mob and um, to be on country and to do the cultural burns, to heal country. Our country's sick at the moment and we need it, we need to heal it and through our cultural practices and our, um, our knowledge that we're going to gain, we'll pass it on to our, our emerging generations to keep that going for, you know, for as long as we can. But it's about healing country, which then heals us and makes us uh, better people and we keep that cultural practice continuing. Um, and there's also as part of the Ranger program, we've, we've done lots of training um, to upskill our, our, star, our rangers to um, create more opportunities for them in the future. Hi, my name's Andy from Tokal College. I'm a teacher, but what we're about today is knowledge sharing. The idea that by getting a whole lot of people together, then really important things like burning country can continue. You see, the research has been done and it turns out this cultural burning is about as good as it gets for ecological restoration. But for me, the really cool part is the way that it restores people. So I'm proud to be here today and have just a little tiny bit to do with seeing these 65,000 year old skills passed on. Um, my name's Lee Reevely. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman from Narendra. I'm the team supervisor for the Aboriginal Ranger team in Riverina area. We're based in Narendra. I have um, three ranges that I look after. Um, part of the program is to do um, the CERT 3 in conservation and ecosystem management. Um, we learn, we've been learning out here on, in Tamworth um, culture burns. We'll be conducting culture burns on 
TSRs in our region, so it's great to get on country and learn how to um, conduct it. Uh, Michael Grant, part of the Aboriginal Ranger Program based in the Murray region. Uh, from the Northern Territory, my grandfather's traditional owner of the Tiwi Islands. Um, yeah, proud Yipinari man and also um, Thwuri man from my grand grandmother's side. So very proud of that. Um, really, really proud to be a part of the Aboriginal Ranger Program, meeting on country with other, you know, local Aboriginal people and getting to meet them and also their knowledge. Uh, best thing about it is, like I said, we're on country. We're with family, we're, um, we're doing all the cultural things and it really brings you back to earth and it's a good feeling. Bit of a bit of a step up, but it's good to really express our culture and really express our mob to across to other people who don't understand or might not understand or possibly want to do understand. There's a plenty plenty to learn, um, and yeah, this program's a prime example of that and really showing it off to Australia wide and you know just expressing the expressing the need for cultural burns. Not only that, but just everything you do culturally, the respect. So yeah, it's a big thing, big thing for that, and um, yeah, really proud to be a part of it. So uh, part of today is we're out on Rocky Waterhole out here in Tamworth and we're doing a bit of a site assessment for a cultural burn we have planned. Really looking forward to that. We have um, the Taikao trainers involved. Uh, we got also got you know, local knowledge from local people around just to share that and really just express the need for cultural burns at a time like this. It's, um, it's a good thing, it's done well. Uh, it needs to be more of it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the, the, more, the more cultural burns we get across and the more inf info we can give out about it, the better it is for uh, you know, mob and people and just the country itself. Hi, I'm Ben Kent, uh, field supervisor for the Wallabar Rangers. I'm a local Gomeroy man. I am Billy Neen um, with the Wallabar Rangers, Tamworth Local Aboriginal Lands Council, and I'm a proud Gomeroy man. Yeah, the local land services have got their um, trainee rangers out here so it's yeah it's sharing that knowledge with them also so they can yeah move on with that that um that skill that they're going to be learning today yeah same with us we've got um two trainees on board with us so it's good to bring them out today and show them around and yeah they they learned a bit up at top end too so still learning in the process now so heaps good for them we like working with them guys as well, like local land services. They're very respectful and take a lot of pride in what they do for the land and how they share their culture back with us and get to learn from one another is amazing. So Today is important because um, it's all about sharing that cultural knowledge um, with a, like a variety of things. Um, mainly today is the cultural burning practices that we're going to be sharing with each other and just working with each other and getting, a, getting an understanding of what um, those burning practices do to our country and why we do it.